Hey there, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about purse organization. Now I did a purse organization video. So I did my original purse organization video about three years ago. I talked a lot in that video, uh, but I thought I'd do an updated video because those were the before times, before, you know. So we have different needs, we have different circumstances. So I'm gonna tell you how I organize my purse for uh, the now times and also as a dog mom. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you my bag. This is a pretty old bag. This is a Bagalini. And the great thing about Bagalinis is that they are pretty much waterproof as far, I mean, they're not waterproof, but they're water resistant. So when it rains and you're caught outside, you're not, you don't really worry about the contents getting wet inside. Uh, you can um, wash them, they wash pretty well, and they have many, many, many compartments. So as you can see, this bag is pretty old because this phone compartment here in the front is pretty small. I cannot fit my iPhone in there anymore <laughs> but when i got this bag i had a palm pixie which i actually could fit in this pocket it was very cute however i just use this pocket for uh smaller things now like my airpods uh i just pop that open and put those in there uh put the um the case in there i'll just show you so here are my ipods oh clover's here clover are you in the video clover's officially in the video now did you have a good walk we just came back from a two mile walk so here is the dog in question when I talk about being a dog mom. <laughs> okay, you're gonna walk in front of the camera now? That's nice. Anyway, so usually I'll just slip my AirPods right in there and they're pretty easy to grab if I need to get them. Usually it's just the um, the case because I'm usually actually just wearing these. So slip those right in there and that uses that pocket up. So in this first pocket, um, I have dog mom things. So I have a few of these wet ones, uh, tushy and paw wipes. These are great if, you know, if something happens and you need to, you know, give a, a quick wipe down if you're out in public. Um, if you have a long haired dog, you know the struggle, um, but nowadays he's doing pretty well. So I keep a few of those in the front pocket and I also keep an extra doggy poop bag. <laughs> so I actually have an extra doggy poop bag in the actual poop bag container on the leash. However, I like to be prepared for any weird circumstances. So I actually always have an extra poop bag in my purse as well, because you just never know. So in the front of the bag here, there is this kind of strange pocket, like right in front here. And I was like, what am I gonna do with that pocket? First, you know, for a long time, I was putting my keys up there and everything, but now, I have another little container, and because it's a different time now in this container, I have reusable face masks. So I usually keep two in here. I was just wearing one, um, but these get washed every week or so, and they were they have like a little wire in here. They're really nice. They're made by a costume designer, actually. Um, and I keep those in this little pocket to keep them, you know, pretty much clean. So if you're wondering what to do with those little sachets you get when you get uh, beauty products, this particular one is from the brand called L'Occitane. I think I bought a little gift set. It had maybe a bath oil and some lotion and stuff in here. And they leave you with this little cute uh, pouch. I just recycled it to hold my masks and it works really well. It's very nicely sized, fits right in here. And boom, perfect. So I'm gonna give you a view of the interior of the main compartment of my bag and you'll see everything is compartmentalized. There's not a lot of stuff free floating in this bag and that is how I keep everything organized. I don't want too many individual little tiny things floating around because I'll never be able to find them. There are a few interior pockets. There's one pocket here and in that pocket is actually my uh, vaccine <laughs> information. And in this pocket, in the back, I have some uh, period products. So I have a pad and I have a couple of panty lighters because you never know 
what's going to happen and I always like to be prepared. I've been caught unawares too many times. I actually have a separate little pouch that I throw in here when I'm on my period. But um, in case I'm ever surprised, I have one backup or if I like run out of supplies, I have one backup just in case because I have been caught in a very sticky situation too many times. So I've learned my lesson. I have a separate video dedicated to the period pack. So I will link that down below. So let's start with the first little compartment that is in my bag. This is just for cosmetic items. Now, I don't do my makeup a lot when I'm out, especially nowadays, but I just have a few things in here. And this little pouch is from the container store. There's a, it's a mesh pouch. I don't know if they still sell them, but if they do, I will link them down below. I will link every product I can find down below. If I can't find it, I will link something very similar for you. I just have a little compact so I can see myself. I don't really use the makeup inside. I just need the mirror. Um, I have a, I have a lip balm and I have a little container and it just has a couple of pain relievers. And, um, these are peppermint pills. If I eat something and it disagrees with my stomach, these actually work pretty well. So uh, I always like to have a few of those available. I've got a nail clipper, a lip color, and a poopery. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you're in public or if you're like over a friend's house and you have to use the bathroom and it's not just the number ones, you want to have the poopery. It's a little spray that you spray on the surface of the water on the toilet and it traps the uh, odor underneath the surface of the water so that you can have a less embarrassing bathroom event. Even though everybody poops, let's be honest, um, but this makes it, you know, more pleasant and it smells good. And you can, you can replace the little, uh, you know, poopery inside. Anyway, that's what that is. But if it's all in a little mesh compartment like this, you're never gonna be searching for, you know, your little lip color at the bottom of the bag because it'll never be at the bottom of the bag. It'll just be inside of this. The next compartment has to do probably with the present time. So this is basically my hand mesh bag. Now that we're washing our hands a lot more and sanitizing our hands a lot more, I wanna make sure that I dedicated a place for that stuff. So I have a few Urban Essentials towelettes. These are quite luxurious, but I, you know, if I'm gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna need to clean my hands and stuff, I might as well have nice stuff, you know what I mean? So there's like orange ones, lemon, peppermint, there's eucalyptus that smells really good. They're basically just essential oil towelettes so you can pretty much clean off your hands. And then I have a hand sanitizer spray. And I also have, very important, a hand lotion as well. Um, this is my favorite hand lotion. It's called Walita. You can buy it off Amazon and it's very, very good. Uh, definitely worth the money. And everything goes in this little bag. So. Nothing's better than washing your hands, but frankly, this ain't bad either if you're out and in a sticky situation. Next is my glasses case, and my glasses case isn't anything special. However, I do have a little special surprise inside. So my glasses are inside, but next to it is a little glasses and screen cleaning cloth that I can hide in there and always find. This is from a brand called Casabella. I hope they still make this. It's a little microfiber cloth so you can clean your lenses or you can clean the front of your iPhone screen and after you are done using it, it, it uh, collapses inside of itself. <laughs> and then you can just put it away. And I kind of snug it into the side of my glasses case here. Get in there. And the great thing about this is it prevents my glasses from moving around too much in there. And then boom, the next thing is my wallet. Not very interesting, but I do have a small wallet. I think having a compact wallet is a really good tip if you wanna keep your purse organized because who needs a big wallet with a checkbook in anymore? Hardly anyone uses that. So I advise you if you are done writing checks, which I'm done writing checks probably for the rest of my life uh, with the exception of a few things uh, to, uh, move down to a very small petite wallet. The next thing I always, always carry is a shopping bag. Now this is a reusable shopping bag from a brand called Rice and Tell, and they make really, really cool stuff. This shopping bag has a little 
holder if you want to put it on your keychain or anything like that, but I'm not really that part of that kind of life because I do wash this. Um, but the shopping bag is a pretty good size. It's not super big, but it's a pretty good size. There, it's got two little handles. So if you want to do a little shopping at the grocery store, you can totally do that. And after you are done, well, after you're done, you want to make sure that you wash this bag uh, because a lot of us don't wash our reusable shopping bags and you really should be washing them <laughs> because they are dirty. But you just slip this back inside and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your purse it's really small and cute all right the last little compartment i have is for my iphone charger i always want to make sure that i have extra juice for my iphone and the greatest thing again this is about reusing old packaging that was given to you and this was actually uh from JetBlue. <laughs> when i flew JetBlue once i got some headphones from JetBlue and they came in this packaging. They were just like those wire headphones. They weren't like anything substantial, but it's this nice, it came in this nice sort of container and it fit perfectly my iPhone charger. This is an extra iPhone battery. I did get this off Amazon. I will try and link this, but it works very well. As you can see, the light comes on and that's how much charge you have left. And course an extra cord so <laughs> I recharge this before I leave put this back in here it fits perfectly and you always got extra juice I highly recommend that you invest in an extra iPhone battery or extra cell phone battery if you have an Android phone it's so valuable to have and if you're caught you know if you have a flat tire or something, or you don't have extra, your car stops and you can't charge it, you'll have extra juice. Or if your electricity goes out and you need to have extra juice in an emergency, I highly recommend having this available. I do have a couple of things in front of my bag here. It's mostly just extra masks. This one is not reusable. This was just a, like a one-time use mask, but I shoved it in here just in case because that's the times we're living in right now. So that's my purse organization video for 2021. Let me know if this was helpful and let me know what your biggest challenge is when organizing your purse in 2021. Let me know down in a comment below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you like home organizing and dogs and cute stuff, subscribe. We're here. We're having fun. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.